We are here at Toys R Us in Ontario, Canada, and we're gonna take you on a toy hunt. I am here with my friends DK, A, and the homie Mo. Yo. My name is Kevin, AKA Toying Around. Let's go inside, meet my friend, and look for some toys. Whenever you're ready. That's what we're doing. Let's go, man. Hi, my name is Jason Lapidus. I am a longtime viewer, first time hunter. I make comic books, I make Group of Seven comics. I'm the artist and co publisher, and I make a, a new comic book called Heroic Tales and an ongoing series called Peregrines. And I'm very, very happy to be here this morning. I collect, oh boy, I love. Vintage Star Wars figures. Uh, I used to collect G.I. Joe as a kid, so I'm deep into G.I. Joe. I love Marvel Legends, Star Wars Black Series, um, anything that looks cool. How you been? Good, how are you? Our friend, Jeffrey here. Good old Jeffrey. All right. Geoffrey. You, uh, do you know what kind of stuff you're looking for today? What you're hoping to see? Oh man, I would love to see some Marvel Legends that I don't already have. I'd love to see maybe a good Lego spaceship, just for fun. A specific uh, spaceship, or like I don't want to say. I don't oh, okay. Say which one? Because I don't want to get my hopes up too high. Okay. I want to see the Super Seven reaction figures, Star Wars, man, just everything. All right, I let's go it. see. I love it. Let's go see everything. All right. When uh, back in the day. Back in the day. The stuff that I liked was there. The babies are us. No. The store was laid out differently. There was. Oh, that's what you there mean. There was that's no like, babies are that, us. That's the baby section. There was no baby section. So what was there? All that. There. And then what was there? I never went over there. I mean, babies is a new thing for me still. Like I'm talking in, when they first put It's the age relative because for you, new is maybe like 30 years. In 1985 I'm talking. When the store first came in. I didn't even speak English yet in 1985. I remember when there was no Toys R Us. Okay. Like, all right, where are we going first? Uh, oh, there's stuff here. Star Wars. Have you bought? These ones? Or you, uh, do you have these ones, I should say? I did a uh, stream with Toys R Us on May the 4th. I know. And it was called Toys R Us Con. You, maybe you've seen it. I'm sure you didn't watch my video. <laughs> because clearly, no, I do have these. I'm, I'm being, also trying to make small I'm talk, being, man. I'm being a jerk. That's how, okay. that's how we are. And you've got some Star Wars Mission Fleet stuff, don't you? you do you have the... Um, I have the Razor Crest. The Razor Crest, thank you. Yeah. And I'm sure that's awesome. Do you play with it? It's fun because actually the cool thing about the Razor Crest if you get the speeder bike, it fits into the back That's dope. of the Razor Crest. And it, I don't think it's advertised as such, because sure. I didn't know until I looked at instructions. What a, what a novel idea. <laughs> First instructions. time. <laughs> instructions. My daughter loves that one. Um, I used to do this thing when my wife would go out of town. I would do either Star Wars Saturdays or Superhero Saturdays. And we would just, i take the kids to Toys R Us. They could choose one thing on theme, and we would just watch the movies the rest of the day and play all By day. By theme. Well, either Star Wars Saturdays or Superhero Saturdays, mm. depending on what it was. And so on a Star Wars Saturday, my daughter chose that. But we have like lightsabers from those kinds of days. And yeah. Awesome. Yeah, it's fun times. They don't care anymore. <laughs> and then they grew up. And well, I'm then so... Disney Plus came and everything is, every day is Star Wars Day and Superhero Day. You don't do. I don't do Power Rangers, but the You don't do Power Rangers. Awesome. You don't do Ninja Turtles. So it's, these are I'm just doubly not. I'm just too old, but I appreciate them. We got him saying I'm just too old, right? Yes. I'm too old to have uh, any feelings. This? That looks great. This somehow is a really, really good figure on its own. Yeah. Like a foot soldier. Oh, it looks great. The, the face sculpt on the mast face, it's awesome. Very articulated. You get a whole bunch of stuff, like weapons. And it's a Ninja Turtle Power Ranger. I have a couple Ninja Turtles from when they first came out. But I was already like aging out of toys. At Here's your stuff. For a bit, I was aging out of toys. Yeah, this was like the hottest thing. The Baroness uh, and her motorbike was like such a, a hot find mm -hmm. um, a year ago. And they were going on the secondary market for double. And now, they're, now yes. they're two shelves full. So with these Joes, I did not dig the Snake Eyes movie. I don't know if you ever watched it. I didn't. You see, saw the same thing I saw, which was not much. Oh, um, <laughs> but these two I have, and they're fantastic figures. Great action figure, super cool. I don't know. It's very awkward pose. Yep, that's, I'm all about that, man. No, it was like this way. All about it. Yeah. Was... <laughs> more, more of the same. 
Do you have light a year. do you have a first stop when you come in? I would come in. It's choking on my joy here. I'd come in, walk through Star Wars, and then to Marvel Legends. But they Isn't also we're doing? have moved the store around several times. So sure, that's what we're right, doing. Star Wars, Star vintage Wars. collection. You're deep into the vintage. I am. And I have resisted. I am ankles deep. Have you broken your rule about um, about Mando the boundary? Verse? Yeah, the Mando verse. I made a rule it. that it would just be Favreau verse, but I've gotten a Darth Vader because. You Darth know, Vader. at the end of Rogue One, and then I got the hallway, <laughs> the Tantive Four hallway. Right. So you need him to recreate the scene. <laughs> and you need as many troopers as you can possibly have. Yeah. That was good. That was good. Practice it. Yes. Grief Karga, um, Carl Weathers, is yes. going to be at Fan Expo. Will you be at Fan Expo? I don't know yet. Okay. Not yet. Maybe by the time this airs. That is a lot of Grogu. This is a lot of Grogu's. That is... It, do you remember how when the show came out, Grogu, there was no They just get Grogu. bigger and bigger and bigger. Yes. Well, that's like a, your body pillow, Grogu. You have a body pillow? No. I, I said, did not expect I specifically to be talking said about your this. body pillow, Well, I'm Grogu. just asking on the topic, do you use a body pillow? No, I do not use a body pillow. You know the pregnancy ones, the one that's the big I remember. shoe shape? Yeah. So comfortable. You can get it at Baby's R Us. <laughs> <laughs> that is, it is super cool. Like it's not, it's not gonna be Obviously. like the super collector, but like if you're not gonna get the Razor Crest, right? Which I'm, I'm not. not saying this is a substitute, but but it is. It's a very small version of it. It's so, still a lot of fun. Again, put it in context of where I'm coming from. All the ships I had as a kid were not to scale with the figures. Right. So the Millennium Falcon was only this big, compared to a three and three quarter inch figure, yeah. and the X Wing is like that. So this isn't so far off from that mindset. And I also have all the retro figures, right? Mm -hmm. So the retro Mando might, doesn't fit, but he might work with it. Like in, in terms of like positioning on a shelf, if display one's interested. Display-wise. Display-wise. Or you can go in and modify and carve out room for his feet, which it I'm not going to do. It comes with a Grogu and a Mando. It's yeah, like, but they're not. It has a weapons rack. That's and you cool. can actually put stuff like, in. I think this is great. They're fun, right? For someone who it, wants so to go play with this stuff. If your kids so still watched... They watch, but this stuff. This but is, this, they're these not, are great. They're just not playing with, uh, with action figures at the moment anymore. But it's okay. It's, oh, dude. Oh, my God. You see that, and I see... I know that other, <laughs> other friends of ours were talking about this one. It is so great. I like that. You can say Jason. Like, yeah. They'll, people hopefully watched episode one, but and Jason. we're friends. Jason I, heard, I heard you're only having Jason episode as one. This is actually called the Jason and Kevin show. Yes, only Jasons or Kevins. So you need how many of these for your uh, your display for this? You want three? Picture says three. Picture says three. And how many stormtroopers do you already have? I obey the box. <laughs> obey the box. The box tells me what to do. Please. Instructions and box art. Look at that. Are you you like these ones? They're, they just look like fun to have, you know, on your desk or something. Who's like this that. guy? That is MC12. Is he a rapper? He's Sounds a like rapper. A rap yeah, rap he's man. a Cybertronian rapper um, that only works in bars of 12. Like, oh, nice. Yeah. 12 count bars. Yeah, that's what he does. He's like, he's all 12 bar blues. I like these though. Like, they, that looks you know, great. I'm not a Transformers guy, Me but neither. I know that this is. Bumblebee, and like it looks. <laughs> Did you actually have to read that? It's just the cool form factor. Yes, the aesthetic looking like the cartoon, and it being again like pocket sized. Mm -hmm. There's just something really, really great about three it. Three and three it's quarter. Cute. And you can't get like those rounded edges on the kind that you would transform. You know? mm -hmm. So they look really, really great. It's uh, look over yes. function. Yes, absolutely. Is, which is fine. Which was like a huge. I'm not gonna say problem, but a huge like decider, deciding factor for for Transformers. And all of it is like, does it work? How does it look? Mm -hmm. A lot of times, it function function it goes over form. Right. Or function decides form. The beautiful wall of Lego. Yeah. Any so interest good. in the helmets? I have no. to start building mine. Okay, interest, yes, but am I gonna start buying them? No, because it would again, it would never end. Like they're just gonna keep getting. 
But I have, there's so much, again, I, I sound so like a repeating theme here. Like all, I come from the time before licensed Lego. Yeah. So when you wanted to play Star Wars with your Lego, you had to make your own and nothing of course was good looking. And this stuff is just unbelievable. Like you like can get a whole that it goes. throne room. Yeah. Jabba's palace or Boba Fett's throne room. Amazing. Terrible rebranding. Um, the play sets, the dioramas, I really like this. The Ahsoka Mandalore throne. That's oh. the one. It comes with Mando. It does, and Boba Fett. That's one that I want for sure. I'm, I love these. And again, they don't have to be to scale for me because I, I'm okay with I'm flexible about scale. Mm -hmm. You know which one I don't want at all? <laughs> that it's, one. It's on sale. This one is the one, this in Seinfeld, because this is like, this is Lunar New Year, Chinese New Year, like theme set. So there's like five different, no, six different scenes that you can build. That's awesome. And then like you can reconfigure them in different ways and it's just little scenes and tableaus of... Family. Yeah, right. That is so So you can great. have it this way, you can have it in this kind of spinny wheel thing. You know, you have this... Who's this guy that we're supposed to pray to, TK? And he's got all the gold, huh? I don't know, he's got all the gold gold bars, you know? Who's this guy we're supposed to pray to? I don't know, grandma would just be like, yo, just get some incense and pray over here. I'm like, oh, okay, okay. And so, then and then money. Let's, let's do this. Let's do this, right? How can you go wrong, don't you think? I know there's, it's not, again, it's not to scale, but it'll be fun to play around. And we have a Millennium Falcon at home already. Oh, that'll so be they, a good pair. So they parent. pair well in my son's room. When Boba Fest, Boba Fest. When Boba Fett first. Boba Fest is the holiday Boba when Fest. we all celebrate Boba Fett. Boba Fest. Terrible. You've never been to Boba Fest? No, because it's not a real thing. He's just because you don't he, know it doesn't mean it's not badass? real. Was he a bad badass to you after watching the movie? Kevin. Originally. Kevin, I already know where you're going with this. Oh, I want to hear your opinion. Was That's, he a badass? Yes. A hundred percent he was mm -hmm. because he went on way more adventures that you never saw at my house. Okay. With my action figure. I love that. We made him, at, my brother and I made him a badass character. He hunted down everybody all the time, killed them all. Okay? He's ruthless. The only time he's ever done that. Yes. I agree with you. They punked him in the movie. <laughs> I agree. But that's just the, a movie. That's one story. Your, your head cannon. You know, you made it up, you Head made your cannon. story. Yeah. I, I always say, every day of my life, I say, on, especially on Boba Fest, the holiday where everyone celebrates Boba Fett, um, that all good toys mm -hmm. tell a good story. And so if you have a good toy, you tell a good story with it. You do it yourself. And uh, you clearly didn't grow up with a Boba Fett toy because you don't know how to tell a good story. Can you talk it? I think you should get this. I want this. If I were, can I ask, why do you want this one? If I were, no, if I were to get a shield, I would want the classic colors, not sure, not the stealth. The stealth funny shield. thing is, he doesn't actually use that shield. Like it's not actually that color. It's so, it's just so strange. The way they shot the film was to make it look like it's that color, mm -hmm. and the prop in the film is that color. But when he gets back to the base, his shield is the regular shield. It's supposed to be like the night lighting on mm. things. Now, if you get the metal one, would you ever, would you throw it? I would just throw it into the drywall and then that would be how it's displayed. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. It's crumbling. I could yeah. never, re I'm not a, like, I'm not crafty, I'm not an artist. I would right. never get those same cracks in the wall. No, that's true. Right? So what room in your house are you going to break if, the drywall in? Well, my bedroom? <laughs> just above the bed? Explaining that to the rest of your family. Like, it's like this for display purposes. My wife's sleeping. I just jump in the room and go, God. <laughs> And then I'm waiting for it to bounce back and it never does. No, it never does. Ooh. Yes. Which Power Rangers is Power this? Power Rangers in space, Blue Ranger comes with the glider. This is the last one that I need to complete the team. Congratulations, that's awesome. This is awesome! That's awesome! Why aren't the Power Rangers always in space? Even when they're in, this, in space, they fought mostly on Earth. Well, that's for budget reasons. What, you're I the one imagine. who asked the question. I'm, I'm asking.
I'm wondering if Thor here, um, if this is a good one because his eyes look a little buried in that helmet. X-Men, you distract me with beautiful X-Men. Just. <laughs> Damn it. It didn't work out like I thought it would. <laughs> it worked out exactly as I thought it would. All right, let's grab it. Yeah, we're getting that X-Men wave for sure. <gasps> But you take a look at this Thor. Fine, we'll talk about your Thor first. I love Thor. I'm, I'm actually making a Thor comic. It's finished, but it has, it's not coming out until the fall. Go tell the camera. I'm making a Thor comic, but not for Marvel, just because Thor is not Marvel's IP. Marvel's Thor is Marvel's IP, but Thor is, you know, a Norse mythological character. But anyway, the eyes in this one look a little buried in that helmet. Yeah. So do I want to take the risk? What, you're putting it back? You're saying don't buy oh, it? Oh, my bad. See where his eyes are in that? You can see them, but on the figure, they're kind of buried. What do you think? What's what's your expert advice here, toying around? Um, I'm, I'm sure you'll find it later, right? If it's this early on and they're already at a lot of stores, I'm sure you'll be able to find it again. I won't. I don't know if it's going to be the same look, like the same results. Maybe a right. different one. I don't know. Well, Chris Hemsworth has such beautiful eyes. You want to? No, I'm just joking. You... No, he does. He does. It's you gonna get this? <laughs> yeah, it. It's the wrong body. So we need the body <laughs> from, uh, what's the other character's name? Happy Hogan? Jason's like, where I don't have a black suit. Where he's a little, uh, I have a black suit, thank you. But Happy Hogan's got a little more girth to him. So, but yeah, that head would be. Does it, uh, it looks like him, right? It looks like him. It's racist. We made a pact. We made a pact. That we're splitting this wave because yes. You don't care for, who, who don't you care for? Uh, all the characters that you cared about. I wanted the old school saber tooth, because mm -hmm. I'm old school. I wanted Wolverine. I noticed you added school. I love Wolverine, and I wanted Havoc, because that's OG Havoc. Yeah. So those are the three I wanted. I don't care, I'm half and half on Vulcan, um, but I'm not gonna get it. I'm just not gonna, I'm hoping one day he'll just be on the shelves when I'm shopping. Yeah. And uh, Maggot, I not only don't care for, I actually reject. And then who else is there? Darwin and Siren. Like those are fine. I really, I want Bonebreaker, but I'm not getting it this time. You're gonna? I'm gonna find another way to get Bonebreaker. I'll be resourceful and. Uh... I like your Zen-like output on, on uh, collecting. You're always like, I'll find it later. I'll find it later, it'll come around. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a huge fan of the Reavers. That was like at the height of my X-Men collecting. So Bonebreaker means a lot to me, but I know that I wouldn't be able to, I'm happy to, to like also facilitate your getting of the, the figures. I can't remember the last time I found a whole You're wave. You're gonna put it together today. At Toys R Us? No, I can't. Come on. You gotta, I, I, you, you know, have to I wait for your slowly, show. I gotta slowly pace myself. You gotta put it together in the car while you're driving. <laughs> <laughs> tell them, tell Jason. So are I you a not, mint on card collector, or do you open your stuff? I am not a mint on card collector. I am open in car while driving collector. Um, red lights, that kind of thing, you know. I like action figures. Yellow lights, <laughs> sometimes green. I I have been known to open a figure before I arrive home, and you that open is figures true. before you leave my driveway. I have when opened you come figures pick up stuff. in your driveway. That is true, um, and. It has resulted in a lot of joy. Uh, I usually can't hold back, you know, but unfortunately there have been a few occasions where very small parts are oh, lost. You know where this is going. I know this yeah, have fallen uh, maybe, you know, down into the seat or onto the floor, which are both recoverable. The worst case scenario is into the part where your parking brake is, where there's a gap into, I guess, the chassis of the car. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, those things are gone. And I absolutely love, of course I do, these Marvel Legends three and three quarter uh, retro style figures. I love the cards uh, I'm, and I have all of them already. So I'm really excited. You have for this wave already? Wave. I have this wave. I have everything that's come out in Canada. And then of course they just showed the new, the new uh, Sentinel. Oh my gosh. That scale, yeah, but, yeah, yeah, but yeah. bigger. And it makes me very excited to, you know, be eight years old or whatever, and uh, have my shoebox full of superheroes. Everything I liked when I was eight, I still like today. Isn't that the beauty of this? It's like, 
I'm 39 years old and I'm on the ground with no like we can be collecting from whatever age yeah on that side all the way to this aisle yeah you know, we're just over here um, the only thing that's different in my taste is I like more things than I did when I was eight right but everything I like now I eight, you know I still more. like look at all the all these are new lady Loki lady Loki just uh, Loki yeah doesn't interest me too much Falcon I'm on the fence I have the other Falcon that mm -hmm. they made recently where his suit is less intricate it's just there there aren't as many um, yeah paint applications so I kind of like this one better but I don't know if I want both that makes sense Mm -hmm. Tiger is a great action figure. Hercules is phenomenal. I really like that. I would actually consider buying a second Hercules one day, if I ever see it on clearance, just so I could take it apart and make it into a, a comic book Thor or someone else, because it's... And then put this head on it. <laughs> oh, we're, you were talking about um, the guy in Queer Eye doubling for someone else. Jason was talking about, yeah, I don't know any oh, of Oh, he was people. pronouncing it wrong. He, he was, yeah, Limey and- It's Lemmy. Lemmy, it's yeah. Lemmy. Trust me, Kyle, who is a big fan and the designer, he was like, oh, I'm so disappointed. Jason, well, get it together. How many fart guns do you have at home? Zero. I'm a human fart gun. Why do I need a toy? Fair enough. Any, any attachment to Spawn? No. By the way, I love that story about you as a kid putting stuff out and only having oh, yeah. to decide. Yeah. Here See, I think it's great that they put these you good? Marvel Legends with these figures because they are on brand in terms of style. Mm -hmm. Like the same collector wants both. Yeah, it makes sense. It visually fits together now. I'm a Star Trek guy too. Like I, I dig the next generation as Are a these youngster. new? Yes. Oh, hey, only I get to do the camera shrug. No, I'm kidding. Get yeah. your own bit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what is it for uh, you? Last week, Jason Lowe lost it over the G.I. Joe stuff. I'm not going to lose and, it over uh, any of them. You're not going to lose it? No. Because you're, you know, a grown I'm up. a little more level-headed than Jason. Oh, there's more. Yeah. <laughs> but what oh, is it? Storm Shadow. Is this I mean, your that's thing? That's a done deal. That's, like, that's phenomenal, right? He's, he's, yeah, he's there too. I, I don't know why I didn't see him. Storm Shadow is beautiful. What is the deal with this nightmare face? Well, oh, Destro. Oh. Um, there, it's just something from the what, cartoon. What are you gonna choose, Jason? Some, I know. This or this? It's, or that. Or that. You have to get that. I don't want this scary clown man. Destro. The, this is. How can you it's, it's not? Destro was my very first G.I. Joe action figure. Do you remember your first toy toy? Star Wars. Okay. Yeah, um, my brother and I, we were each allowed to pick two. We got Luke, Leia, C-3PO, and R2. And R2 came with me to the movie. And my R2 oh, so has- he had pocket figs. He had teeth marks in his in his leg from me chewing on it while watching the movie. Did you think there was chocolate inside? <laughs> I mean, there isn't. I like that this line has troop builders. Yeah, and they're like all different. Like there's, there's different troops, there's different, uh, what do you call it, forces? And each yeah. one, there's different looks. So you, when traditionally, if you get an army builder, they all look the same. Yeah. It's crazy seeing the cartoon brought to life. Because the action figures, it was the other way around, right? The cartoon was in, is based on the action figures. Right. And these action figures are based on the cartoon. So they're, they're different in design. Um, yeah, to solve cartoon problems, as opposed to toy problems. All the Super 7 stuff is, is cartoon-based, I it, believe. They're like, so cool. Like the ultimates are cartoon-based. Oh, bazooka in his arctic gear. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, I was going to keep my composure. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's so silly, though. Like, someone, I think someone put it back there. So now we have some big choices to make. Is it funny because it's it, funny or it's, it's funny because you're happy? It's funny because it's funny. How did you even see that? That's like seven figures. That's pretty, yeah. I, yeah. what? Wait, Either how way. did you, So, where did you see, like did you? The team, you know when they would venture into the Arctic, they Can would Can we get a shot of like how far back this is? Like sure. right there? So, and he started giggling like yeah. And he was standing. Yeah. And I thought listen, it was green fig. listen man. It's, it's called green shirt, it's not green figure. 
Yeah, th- I'm, I'm not necessarily going to get it. I'm just saying I think it's fun. After that, I feel like you kind of have it's to. It's because it's ridiculous that they made this figure. Isn't that like, what it's all about? Who, who would choose to do that? Because the, the character Brian is... Brian uh, Yeah. It's just so funny. He's, he's a stupid character. I don't mean that he's not interesting. I mean that the character is played as dumb. Oh, he's literally like... He's a dumb character. And he doesn't speak well. And he doesn't make good choices. And this particular one, he does some very stupid things. And it's really, really funny. They'll, he's, they sing a song that, no, I'm not going to sing. Why would you uh, bring it up if you're not going to sing it? Because the internet, and you can look it up on your own, but frozen fudgy bars, it's, so, it's bad for so many reasons. Um, oh, what? Get yourself this. Yeah. Xena, it's so funny. Star Scream. Yeah, I think it's a beautiful looking figure, don't right? you think? I actually would, if I was going to pick a Transformer, I'd go with Soundwave. Wait, th- that's two different names? Starscream and Soundwave? Soundcloud. You're, you, look what you're doing. That's where I got it from. I know, but it shouldn't be on top of April. It should be, you should do them by brand. Then again, <clears throat> I do see how that's not good either. Okay, you're right, fix it. This is funny. Okay, you don't have to get it. Yeah, I just, it's that, funny that it's you just... saw it. Cause look, if we, you were here, you were here like this and he, and he saw, saw it. and he saw, oh, what's his name? Bazooka. Bazooka. And you said Arctic Bazooka too, through here. And it's not like you can see part of the card art that indicates. Exactly. So I, I don't know. Him, he was sticking, he was askew. He was, he was like that. He wasn't sitting straight. Something else, you're something else. This is just a beautiful line. I really do, I love them. They're great. Hey, what did you think of today? It was fun? incredible. Did you have fun? I had a great time. Did you have fun? Absolutely. I hope I was fun to be with. It was all right. What did you get today? I picked up Super 7 reaction figures from G.I. Joe. I got Destro and Storm Shadow. Power Rangers Lightning Collection in space, Blue Ranger. I got a Marvel Legends Thor from Thor Love and Thunder. Batman, the adventure continues, Azrael. Lego Star Wars Boba Fett Starship. Halo Master Chief. Is that your TV voice? Got the entire Marvel Legends Bone Breaker? Bone Breaker! Bone Breaker wave. Jason and I made a pact. We're gonna split it. And Marvel Legends Lady Loki. Oh, did you talk about where people can follow you? No. Do you want to? I'd love to. Jason, where can people follow you? You can follow me on Instagram at Jason Lapidus Art, as well, group of seven comics.ca, and the seven is a number or Group of Seven Comics, at Group of Seven Comics on Instagram as well. And the seven is a number. Uh, and then we say, and then we say bye. Oh, that, like, not like we don't just go bye. Goodbye, human. What do you mean? Thank you yes. for shopping. At to- <laughs> we say goodbye. It's good to hang out with you, seriously. It was fantastic. Thank you for doing this. Thanks for having yes. me, it's a pleasure.